everyone, in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to make video quiz. It is going to be quick, easy as always, but also there are going to be some fresh ideas, so be attentive, let's start! We know that purposes of making quizzes are vast and as vast as your imagination. However, in this video tutorial, I would like to concentrate on especially video quizzes. Because we all know that people are visual, we are visual, and anything visualized is easier for our brains to process. And video quizzes can shift students from passive to active learners. You can also make prediction video quizzes, which will test the pre-existing knowledge. And also, you can practice your previous knowledge by taking notes and watching carefully to interpret the hypotheses presented in your video quiz. So, first I would like to mention that in today's video I'm going to use a plugin called QuizMaker. It is a super responsive plugin with responsive design and what is important, super user-friendly interface. And before installing, you can check out its free demo and pro demo versions so you know what are you actually going to work with. I personally find it the best plugin, so give it a try. So to start creating, first install and activate the plugin. After activating the plugin, you can see its icon on dashboard and you can see the menu of QuizMaker right under it and you have to choose questions and start inserting your questions if they are pre-made or make all the questions one by one. After finishing with your questions, Choose quizzes from the same menu on the dashboard and you will see the following screen. Click on add new and here is the actual part where you are going to start your creation. So the first part is the general section which will allow you to title your quiz if you want to, add an image to it and do the most important step which is to insert your questions and corresponding videos. And the next section is style section which represents the idea of responsive design of this plugin at its best. You can choose from the already customized themes or you can take full control and do it all yourself Play around with fonts, colors, and most importantly, you can make a mobile-friendly quiz by setting the right parameters. With the style section, you can make the most detailed customization, and I guarantee that. So the third section is our settings, which is perhaps one of the key parts of any quiz. So choose wisely on how your quiz must start. You can randomize questions and answers. You can enable question bank, which will allow the visitor to take only a certain number of random questions from the whole bunch that you have made. You can group questions by category, giving a more accurate result of the quiz. And also you can show instant feedback in case of right or wrong answers, adding a rate and many more. And the next section is result settings, which allows you to redirect after submission. And it is actually cool because imagine redirecting your students to the previous course in case of failure or to the upcoming course in case of success. You can also hide the final score if you want to reduce stress and just do some warm-ups before the exams. Result settings also gives the opportunity to calculate the score either by correctness or by waypoints and correspondingly show display the results by percentage, by correct answer count or by waypoints. And to conclude the whole quiz, you can also show question results on the result page. Limitation users section allows you to limit the maximum number of attempts. This option is very important in the way of accuracy of the quiz score. You can also make the quiz accessible only for logged in users or selected users roles. You can simply put a password to avoid strangers from taking your quiz. 
So we are nearly at the finish line and we have here user data section which will help you to collect valuable information which is the data. By checking out the data collected after completing the quiz, you can have access to the average scores in the questions that students mostly failed to answer, thus understanding the strong and weak sides of your students, find out which part of the course was fully processed by them, and you can also create a custom field by checking on custom field in quiz makers menu. And the actual finish line is email certificate, which will help you design the perfect certificate and send it to your students with the score or congratulating message on successfully passing the quiz. Or in the worst case, it can be, mm, try again. After finishing all the steps, copy the shortcut, insert it into post and voila, your quiz is ready to go. This is it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the process, learned some tips and tricks and got some new information. I hope you kept it all in mind because all this is very necessary and very trendy, I could even say. So not to miss our content, subscribe, hit your notification bell and see you soon. Bye!